Scientists and archaeologists are using SAR data to help uncover lost cities and urban-type infrastructure hidden over time by dense vegetation or desert sands. Space archaeology. You can go view the NASA Earth observatories peering through the sands of time and secrets beneath the sand. These are two apps apparently on their website. I haven't gotten a chance. I just kind of ran into this. But NASA has an entire thing on their website all about this technology, talking about how it's been used in uncovering lost civilizations and pulling back dense vegetation and desert sands. Those are the exact words, which is what these guys are doing here. Maybe sometime we'll have Jeffrey Wilson on to, you know, he did scanning work for NASA years ago, I think, when he was doing his thing in Michigan still. One thing Jimmy Corsetti had mentioned was these images right here that you're seeing. How did they have this kind of straight on view of these pillars? How is it that these, they're using satellite technology? So the scans aren't coming from devices over top of the pyramid. They're actually coming in, and this is actually kind of a nice image here to give you guys an idea of what we're talking about. So basically, the planes are flying over and they're shooting all of these scans, all of these lasers, if you will, in multiple different directions. And they're going back and forth. And they're also using satellites to basically come in at an angle. And then from what they're saying is they're taking all of that data and they're using imaging techniques technology to kind of make these images. So that's where you're losing some people, right? Because it's like anything else, you know, what the flat earth people talk about when they talk about, oh, the earth, all of the images of the earth that we see are actually just copied together a bunch of small photographs, high resolution photographs, and they stitch them all together to get the large view of earth. And that's like the smoking gun to the flat earth people that NASA has been hiding that the earth is really flat. In this kind of, these kind of situations, you have to use computer computers, from what I understand, it's the only way to really make a visual picture of what it is they're capturing.